Hi everyone, here's Anne and we are back to let's play what remains of Edith Finch. Last time we saw uh, Odin. I was a little bit upset as I am upset all the time. Now with the controls because the game looks nice but the controls are horrible. So let's see what Calvin's story is. Because Calvin is... Well, we are just skipping from one to the other. Okay. How I want to remember my brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Okay. So, swing. And we have... My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Mom! Calvin! Get us ready! We're coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Okay. Is it the part where the chain will broke? Oh. And I cannot turn the hat. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Okay, I'm starting to be sick of that. Oh! Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. I think a maximum what normally would be able to. That's what I want to remember about my brother. It's not possible to make it by the normal laws of physics. Okay. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. That was short and nice. So the command center is done. But I, I think... Now, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. There has to be Edith. Ah, every time it's different. So, Eddie, what happened with you? Show me, show me. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Really stupid controls. I think it's much better to watch it than to play it. The passages were a pretty tight fit. 
They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. thought of Barbara as a child star. But I do want to know something about Eddie. Hmm. Nothing here. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. What? Barb Street. What? Moldy. All the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale, inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. As a child. Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. Getting better, I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan, and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great dream. It was Barbara's father, Sing. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him right on cue. She reached for the music box. Oh, and that's our run. Okay.
Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it, and she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Six feet tall, with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> Can turn around. That night, she played her part beautifully. Eaten by the monster, Molly. from inside the house.
monsters have come to surprise us. She saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with the final breath, Barbara Finch gave a performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara. She had a taste for stardom, but unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard, but that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box, is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. Eerie <laughs> tale. Ha, ha, ha. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Okay. So, that was Barbara. Calvin and Barbara. So, the next one. I hope there will be a something a little bit better. See ya. See ya. Later.